See how the moon travels at the same speed and direction as the stars. They all move together as one, and that's not possible if you believe the official narrative that the moon is a lot closer to the earth than the stars. They'd all be moving at different speeds. Let's say you are travelling in a car, and you observe a tree to the right side of the mountain. But as the car covers some distance, you see that the tree has moved to the left side of the mountain. In fact, objects closer to you are moving faster as compared to the objects away from you. Every day you see this effect and think nothing until it's given some mysterious scientific sounding name. Parallax. The term is derived from the Greek word... Okay, so there's a star on a tree. And if we zoom out a bit, another star a little bit closer. And if we zoom out a bit more, or in a bit more, there's the moon on a tree. Uh, now, if we zoom out just a little bit more, this old video camera is uh, the Earth looking at the moon and the stars in the distance. And it doesn't matter which way you turn this thing, you can twist it in any direction you want, you cannot replicate what you see up there. The moon arcing around the Earth over 12 hours like this is the equivalent of this camera. This is the camera is the Earth and there's no way that those stars would move at the same speed and trajectory as the, uh, as the moon. It's impossible to replicate. The moon, the stars and the sun all move around the sky as if connected together. They might be at different distances apart from each other, but just like these rocks are connected by the ice, what we see up there is somehow connected, and that can only mean that the Earth is stationary and the stars move around the Earth. So my question to you is this. Are you going to deny what you see with your own eyes that the Earth is stationary, and instead believe what you don't understand that the earth is spinning